subscribe to Nika TV and press the bell icon to make sure you never miss an update from us. Hi guys, I'm Anali Zamomi, hair and makeup expert. Today I'll be showing you how to create the most talked about Korean makeup look. So what is this Korean makeup look all about and why is it so hyped up? Well, the Koreans love the skin to look super luminous and super cute. So I'm going to show you how to create this look in a few easy simple steps. So let's get started. So before we start with the Korean makeup look, it's very important and crucial that we have our skin squeaky clean and super prepped. So I'm going to start with the toner. This is from Laneige. It's the Essential Power Skin Refining Light. So this toner is going to help even out my skin tone and cool my skin. You want your skin to be super cool before you start applying your makeup. So you pat it all over your skin. So the next step is to use the serum and I'm using the one from Innisfree. This is the Green Tea Seed Serum. So just take a pump of this and apply it all over your face. Just like this, circular and upward strokes. This is going to boost the work of your moisturizer that you apply after this step. And this will hydrate your skin, adding extra glow to it. So the third step is to moisturize the skin and I'm going to use the one from Umbrellis. So I'm going to take a little bit of this. This will make sure that your under eyes does not crease. So again, you want to go in upward strokes. For the forehead area, you want to go downwards, following your face lines. And for the rest of your face, you want to go in circular, outward, upward strokes. All the makeup artists swear by this product because it is super hydrating and this works as a makeup primer. So the Koreans love the skin to look super thin and luminous, just like a baby skin. And to get that look, I'm going to apply a liquid highlighter all over my face just to get that glow from within look. So for my highlighter, I'm using the Hello Hello from Wet n Wild. So right now this product is looking a little oily, but once you apply your foundation, this should all settle down and it will just give us that glow from within look. So to neutralize my skin, I'm going to use the Skin Genius Conceal and Correct Palette. So before I go in with my foundation, I want to make sure that I neutralize my face and that is like my dark circle area, my chin area. Because if you don't neutralize your face, your skin is going to look grey when you apply your foundation and you don't want that. So let's start with the neutralizing. And if you feel you've applied too dark or a little excess of the product, you can always use a finger and dab it away. So we are good to go and start with the foundation. And for my foundation, I'm going to use a super thin foundation because Koreans like the skin to look super thin and nothing cakey, nothing over the top. So I'm going to use Innisfree Cushion Go To Foundation. And I've chosen a shade which is two to three shades lighter than my skin tone because I want my skin to look brighter than my actual skin tone. And you're just going to dab it all over your face. In case you're not a foundation girl, you can always go for a CC or a BB cream. Basically, the whole idea behind this look is to make your skin look super thin. So you don't want to go heavy on the foundation. And don't forget to apply foundation on your neck as well because you want to make sure that your face and neck look the same color. So to create this look, I have gone for a foundation which is two to three shades lighter than my skin tone because the Koreans like the light skin look. But you can always use your foundation which matches the skin tone perfectly and which is the same color as your skin tone. But just make sure that the texture of the foundation is super thin. So I'm using the Fit Me Concealer from Maybelline in the shade 20 Sand. So this is going to help remove my redness and also to conceal my dark circles. I'm using Huda Beauty's Easy Bake Loose Baking and Setting Powder. So I'm applying the loose powder just under my eyes to set my concealer. I will not be applying it on my entire face because we want this look to look super luminous. That's how the Koreans love it. Let's start with the eye makeup. So I'm using the same concealer from Maybelline and I'm going to dab it and then blend it all over my eyelids. 
and I am going to take the same setting powder from Huda Beauty and apply it all over my eyelids. This is going to help make my eyeshadow last longer and bring out the intensity of my eyeshadow. For my eye makeup, I'll be using the Lemonade Craze from Maybelline and I'm going to go in with the shade Sunnies and I'm going to apply this on my entire lids. And then I'm going to go in with Ice Pop and create an outer V and blend it inwards. I'm also going to be applying this on my lower lash line on just one third of my outer lower lash line. Now I'll be using the shade Sunnies and I'll take my crease brush and apply it on my lower lash line. And I want my eyes to look like I've been crying and it's been swollen, so I'm gonna use a lot of it and put it on my lower lash line. To make my eyes look bigger, I'll be using an off-white curl from Inglot. Now I'm just gonna line in my upper lash line with Inglot Gel Liner in the color black. And for my eyeliner, I want it to look droopy and sad. So I will draw a very thin line on my upper lash line and take it downwards and blend the droopy area. And for my mascara, I'm using the Max Fanatic Cat Eye Mascara from Wet n Wild. Since I already have my extensions on, I'll just use it on my lower lashes. I highly recommend you to use falsies because this will really open up your eyes. I'm gonna go in with my Nykaa Wow My Brow Eyebrow Palette. I'm gonna take the lightest shade from this palette. Corbins like the brows to look thick and bushy because it represents innocence and youthfulness. And I wanna create a straight and bushy eyebrows. To get a natural flush of color, I'm going to use this cream blush from Ruby's Organics. So just take a little amount and dab it on the apple of your cheeks. So this will give you a baby doll look. We are not going to go for contouring because contouring will sharpen our face and we want a very soft, romantic, baby dollish look. And dab a little bit and just blend it. Again, when you're blending, you don't want to blend in a sharp V angle because you don't want a sharp look. You just want to have a very soft, romantic look. So for my highlighter, I'm using the Strobe Cream from MAC. So this product is going to finish my luminous makeup look. I'm going to be applying this on my chin. Just a little dab of it on the bridge of my nose. And on this area right here and just dab it with your beauty blender. So this will complete that luminous effect. So Koreans like their lips to look small and innocent. So I'm going to make my lips look smaller by concealing the outline of my lips. So basically by applying this concealer, I'm blurring out my lip line because I want my lips to look smaller. And you know, when you have a smaller lips, it looks more cute and innocent because big pouty lips look more sexy and we are going for the cute look. And to apply color on my lips, I'm using the lip tint from the face shop. And this is in the color 04. And what I'm going to do right now is, I want the inner bit of my lips to look dark and it's going to fade away as it goes outside. So all you have to do is just apply to the inner corners and then keep dabbing. So basically when you apply this product, it should look like you've got a stain that you get from eating a candy. And we are going to use the butter lip gloss from NYX. Just gonna apply this. And we're done with this step. And for my last step, I'm using the setting spray from Miss Claire. This has a very dewy finish and that's what we want. So this is the complete finished Korean makeup look. I hope you guys enjoyed watching this as much as I enjoyed making it for you. And instead of your lip tint or your blush, you can also use regular lipstick. Just apply a little bit over here and in the inner corner of your lips and you're good to go. Don't forget to like and share this video and subscribe to Nike TV for lots more.